Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Lion's Table. Let's take a moment to enter into the presence of God by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let God's word, which is truth, fill us and give us strength. Let us contemplate his great love for us, his sacrifice on the cross, his mercy, grace, and promise of eternal life through Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Word, who was at the beginning, was with God and is God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning, and through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. John 1, verses 1 through 5. Dear brothers and sisters in the body of Christ, we are so happy for you to join us in this ark of God's word. Uh, for faith comes by hearing God's word. If anyone keeps his word, the love of God has been truly perfected in him. By this we know that we are in him. 1 John 2, verse 5. We know there is no other God. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. John 14, verse 6. So let us lay aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us behave decently, as in the daytime, not in carousing and in drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and debauchery, not in dissension and jealousy. Instead, clothe yourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the desires of the flesh. Romans 13, verses 12 through 14. They exchanged the truth of God for a lie. They worshiped and served the creature rather than the creator who is forever worthy of praise. Amen. And for this reason, God gave them over to dishonorable passions or given them over to a depraved mind in some translations. Even their women exchanged natural relations for unnatural ones. Likewise, likewise, the men abandoned natural relations with women and burned with lust for one another. Men committed indecent acts with other men and received in themselves the due penalty for their error. Romans 1, 25 through 27. Having said that, I think you know, this is where we are today. Even those who call themselves Christians, seemingly have been given over to depraved minds. And yet some will say, and even use scripture, accept him whose faith is weak without passing judgment on his opinions, Romans 14, 1. Or some say, therefore, let us stop judging one another. Instead, make up your mind not to put any stumbling block or obstacle in your brother's way, Romans 14, verse 13. Though some are weak and others are strong, yet all must agree not to live to themselves. No one who has given up his name to Christ is allowed a self, loudly a self-seeker, that is, against true Christianity. The business of our lives is not to please ourselves, but to please God. That is true Christianity, which makes Christ all in all. Though Christians are of different strength, capacities, and practices in lesser things, Yet they are all the Lord's. All are looking and serving and approving themselves to Christ. Amen. Approving themselves to Christ, not to themselves. For he is Lord of those that are living to rule them, of those that are dead to revive them and raise them up. Christians should not judge or despise one another because both the one and the other must shortly give an account of themselves. Let every man search his own heart and life. He that is strict in judging and humbling himself will not be apt to judge and despise his brother. That goes both ways. The one who thinks they're righteous and the one who is maybe visibly sinning or and not really realizing it. You know, indulging in the flesh and thinking that that's okay for them and the other one who's not doing it and always pointing it out. Both, the one and the other, must shortly give an account of themselves. So let every man and woman search his or her own heart and life. He that is strict in judging and humbling himself will not be apt to judge and despise his brother. Because of this, we must live to build each other up in Christ not in satisfying our own feelings, desires, lusts, 
justifications, arguments, etc. We are not to cause one to stumble by proclaiming, Look at me! I am doing this or that. I was blessed or not with this or that. And we don't change our faith in God doing harm to our soul in order to complement or tolerate their worldly flesh. We live for Christ and Him alone. Build each other up in the Spirit and live the life Jesus wants for you and everyone who comes to Him. Alive in Christ, not in ourselves. Well, thank you for joining us for this tonight's Lion's Table. We hope it's been a blessing to you, as always. We'd love to see your comments and your prayer requests. And as always, we invite you to join us again next time.